we're just excited for the opportunity to be in such a beautiful and historic city like Paris for the 2024 Paralympic Games. The racing course we have for the Paris Paralympics this year is gonna be demanding. Probably one of the toughest courses we've done on the paracycling circuit in a while as there's many challenging climbs, sharp corners, and just overall demanding features, which for us as athletes is the greatest challenge as the world's best is gonna be coming to Paris and we have the world's best course out there. We're all gonna be pushed to our limit through the beautiful area of Sienne Saint Denis. One of my favorite French foods, and I got to try it a lot last year when I did a Paris recon with the Canadian uh, paracycling team, was pan au chocolat. But as for favorite French words, there's always been a saying, one of my former coaches, Craig McCord, used to say in Paris swimming, and now I've kind of picked it up and said it every single day in my life, is uh, c'est bon. I don't know why it is good, it just rolls off the tongue whenever something good happens I'll always say c'est bon. That's a tough question as the big rides all come to mind whether it's the Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia, the Volta, uh, or so many more like Paris-Roubaix or even the Tour de Vlaanderen and some of the monument rides. But I think for myself the ones I would love to do most is I got into cycling more on the endurance side and more of the bikepacking side. I would love to do the Continental Divide, race across America, or even try the, uh, the Tour of Iceland and some of those longer, more exposed races where you just have to put your head down and suffer on the bike for long periods of time. I love that as most cyclists, we, we enjoy that type two kind of fun. There's so many events I want to see at the Paris 2024 Paralympic Games as I've been very fortunate to got to meet many of Canada's athletes over the last couple of years. Whether it's Nate Reach of Para-Athletics or Zach Medell of Wheelchair Rugby, the Wheelchair Basketball Team, Sitting Volleyball Team and so many different sports, it's going to be really exciting. I know for myself and so many of Canada's athletes, we're just excited for the opportunity to be in such a beautiful and historic city like Paris for the 2024 Paralympic Games. But we're also so excited to feel that support and be able to wear the maple leaf for Canada and really take in the first summer games with attendances since Rio 2016. So it's just gonna be an incredible experience and we cannot wait to do Canada proud.